Okay, so today I am actually at work. Um, my clients will be here at some point, um, typically nine o'clock, but the client is not here just yet. So I'm gonna start my day by shampooing my hair with our new Biotin Voluminous Shampoo. Um, and I know you guys heard two words in my intro of the product here, Biotin Voluminous. So I've been talking to you guys a little bit about um, our new line that we'll be introducing on Black Friday, which is our new Biotin collection. It's a Biotin volume collection for, for those of you who um, want to have a little more density in the hair. Um, for those of you that have um, issues with hair growth, um, maybe you are one who you want to thicken the hair. Um, you want the hair to um, look more healthy. And then of course you guys know biotin is amazing when it comes onto the hair, no matter which direction it is. So we have our biotin voluminous shampoo and biotin voluminous conditioner. Um, the leave-in conditioner is not ready yet. I haven't actually finished working on that part yet, but these are my testers for the shampoo and the conditioner. So I am going to be using both today on my hair. And then you guys also get to work with me today while I use it on my clients as well. Um, here's the thing when it comes on to volumizing shampoos. Yes, they can give you almost immediate results, absolutely. But volumizing shampoos have to be continuously used for you to continue building that volume, which is another reason why we just did not want to create a volume only shampoo. We wanted to create a shampoo that not only is going to help increase the hair volume, but it's also going to help with the hair follicle strengthening and giving the hair follicle the vitamins that it needs. Um, it's also going to help to deliver that hair growth that you guys have been yearning for. So the Biotin Collection is going to be available come Black Friday. That is the launch date for the Biotin Collection. So I'm going to go ahead and do my wash day really quickly, um, which is my shampoo process real quick. And I went to the warehouse today and I also got a new um, scalp agitator, which you guys know I tell you guys to change these every month to two months. So I got a new one. Um, I still have my old one, but I want you guys to kind of see the difference. So the old one, you guys start noticing the teeth are like spreading out, whereas the new one, the teeth are more in place. These do start to expand and warp you guys. And that's another reason why we really say to start changing them every month to two months. Um, and then they're also plastic. Okay, plastic is porous. So keep that in mind. All right, so let's go ahead and get our shampoo done. Um, I actually shampooed my hair at home about three days ago. So I'm only gonna be doing one shampoo and then one conditioner because I don't wanna run the risk of drying my hair out even more. Um, but of course, I always recommend you guys start with our Elite Clarify to cleanse the hair and the scalp first. This is a luxury hair treatment, okay? And just so you guys know, biotin, biotin is not, is not, you hear me say it again? Biotin, let me turn this off. Biotin is not a cheap product. It's not a cheap, and I like to use that word, it is not a cheap raw material. Just to give you an example, two pounds of biotin, AKA 32 ounces of biotin is $400 just so you know, 32 ounces of biotin. So one bottle this size, this is a 32 ounce bottle. One bottle of this size is $400. Just so y'all know. One bottle of biotin at this size, that's a raw material, is $400 US dollars. That is why you don't see a lot of biotin formulas on the market. Is also why you don't see a lot of um, a lot of companies utilizing it in hair products that much because it is super expensive. But I don't really care about that part. I just, as a hairstylist, I know what it can do and I've seen what it can do. So, good morning. All right, so I'm gonna put you guys down with me here. I'm just kind of doing my little wash. Okay conditioner i did change the color of the conditioner on purpose because i want to see what it looks like and if i like that color 
Um, the shampoo is a peachy color right now. That is not going to be the ending color. But I wanted to just try both colors to see how I like it. Um, I'm kind of running with the um, baby blue color or even a baby pink. But I'm not sure. So I thought my hair was super clean, but I guess not. So I think I'm gonna have to wash it twice. So I use the scalp agitator. And rinse my hair off. Alright, so let's talk about the shampoo. Let's just talk about the shampoo really quick, right? So on the second shampoo, you guys know I have fine textured hair. As I was shampooing my hair, I could tell that the shampoo coated my cuticle. So when I say coated my cuticle, coating means it, it immediately kind of like What's the word that I can use? It was like an intense moisture kind of feel. I guess I can use that word where it just felt like my hair, as I'm shampooing it, it just felt supple. It felt really supple, like soft, like a good moisturizing feeling when typically, even though biotin is really made for hair growth. And we also have some new butters that we are adding to this. Um, or that we did add to this. Actually, I'll tell you guys the butters real quick. Like, hold on. I'm going to tell you guys the butters that are in this new formula. Hold up. Matter of fact, let me put my conditioner on. So this one is the, con no, that's shampoo. Ew. This is the conditioner. 
So I'm testing out this blue color. I kind of um, I kind of don't like the blue, but I'm testing it out. Okay, so I'm gonna put the conditioner on. I'm actually going to leave it on as a deep conditioning treatment. And like once again, even putting it on my hair now, it just feels really supple, really soft to be a, vi a biotin vitamin volumizing formula. It feels really soft. But then I also kind of contribute that to the butters that we decided to use, where we used a combination of butters for the shampoo and the conditioner. Hey, how are you? Good, how are you? Good. Two seconds. So we use a combination of butters for the shampoo and the conditioner. You can just sit right here for a second. Okay. I'm telling them what butters are in our new biotin shampoo. Oh, okay. I am. Okay, so my client's here. We're gonna wash my client. This is my infamous client. Y'all know her, so <laughs> she she works here now. I feel like it. Um. Let me just go over this butters list and then we can get you going. I'm actually going to use it on your hair today anyway. Okay, good. Because it was a little dry this week for some reason. Well, the weather's changed really bad too. Yeah, so. I was in, you know, traveling too and that always. Coast to coast. Yeah. Okay, here we go. So the butters that we used, shea butter, tamanu seed oil, Manoi flower extract, coconut oil, babasu seed oil, kapakiyu butter, and mira mira butter. So those are the butters that are going to be in the biotin collection. So I kind of understand now, which that was one of the reasons why we decided to use a different combination of butters this time around, rather than your traditional mango butter, horsetail butter. Like we wanted to step up the butters and the emollients in this formula because biotin can be very hard on the hair. And we don't want hard. You want to take these out? We don't want hard. You get what I mean? Like we want you. You want the hair to be supple, but also volumizing shampoos are not hard on the hair. So with it being a biotin and voluminous shampoo and conditioner and leave-in conditioner is going to make a huge difference um, with how your hair feels at the end of your wash day. So instead of it feeling hard because you're using that biotin or volumizing, it's going to have that nice soft um moisturized supple feel nice slip and it can be used on natural or relaxed hair all right so my infamous famous client here with her long hair i want you guys to see her length of hair can you turn like that for a second her hair is down to here just so you guys know where's your bra strap she is in Mm, an inch and a half to two inches away from a low bra strap. So that's to tell you a whole heap. And she's natural. And she gets presses quite often, but she also knows when to draw back as well. She has learned to read her hair. She's a hairstylist now. She knows how to read her own hair. Because she'll come, she's like, I think we need to kind of lay off today. <laughs> When did I cut it? Two years? Three years ago? Cut it off? Mm -hmm. Like Bob Bob? Yeah. Three years. Mm, maybe almost. Yeah. Or maybe a little February over three years. February will be three years. February? This it's, February. Been, it's been three years since I left that place over yeah. here. You know I go to this, this store called Buff City Soaps, right? Uh, that's and right next to where you were? It's on top of where I was. Yeah. So when I'm walking in there, I'm just looking at the back and I'm just oh. like... Literally, the store is sitting on yeah. top of where I was. Where you were. Yeah, yeah. and I, I go in there and buy their laundry detergent. It's really good. Is it good? Oh, oh my. It is super good. All right, so she's having some issues with her scalp. Um, oh, yeah. You see? Well, I don't know. What did that smell? This is a dry scalp. Yeah. It's not much of anything. It's just dry? Yeah, it's super dry. It's just itching, though. So we're going to do our Soothe and Balance pre-treatment on her scalp. And she says it's very itchy, so this is going to almost instantly stop the itch. If you guys notice, I'm putting it on her hair while it's dry, 
You can wet the hair down and put it on. I feel like putting it on dry kind of helps start the process, that cooling process. Mm -hmm. Tilt up just a little bit for me. And this formula is, it's not super thick. It has a little more liquidy um, viscosity to it. So it kind of <coughs> travels, bless you, bless you. It travels through the scalp, so you don't have to use a whole lot. So this is the Soothe and Balance pre-treatment that you guys always hear me talking about when people say, oh, I have a super itchy scalp or I have a lot of dry scalp, I have dermatitis. That is what this is for. It really is calming like a... It instantly, and then once you once you put it on the hair when it's dry, mm -hmm. and you allow it to sit on the hair for a second, mm -hmm. and then turn the water on and put it on, the scalp instantly is cool. Oh. Instant cool. So I'm gonna use warm water, and I'm just gonna kind of wet her hair. And the reason why I didn't super saturate her hair just yet is because I want to give the Soothe and Balance a chance to really start working on the hair before I start to lather it as a full-on shampoo. So it can be lathered as a shampoo after the fact, but after you use this, that's when you want to move on to the Soothe and Balance shampoo itself. This is really just to start treating that itch, getting that dermatitis up. If you have dandruff, you're going to use your comb and lift up that dandruff. In her case, this is just dry scalp and environmental change. So dry hair comes along with that. <clears throat> Is it cold? No. How do you feel? Like, what do you feel? It's just tingling. Is it a bad tingle uh -uh. or an okay? No, like that a, feels ooh, like, that, okay. like a good tingle, like little, little elves in my head. <laughs> 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 hmm. So today we're not going to do our super beachy wave. Um, we have a plan of action going right now. So today we're going to give her a quick textured press, large sections on purpose because we have to like give her like super duper beauty, beauty, beauty hair next week. And we don't want to over press her too much. No, remember this week I got to do. Is it this week or the shoot. next trip? I have a photo shoot this week. What's the 26? That's what going to NASA. Out of, out of town. Okay. Yeah, that's the one I don't care about. Really. Okay, so this is the one that's the super duper. Yeah, I have to, huh, a, I was confused. A photo shoot on Saturday. Uh, okay, so are we doing beachy Saturday. wave? Are we doing beachy wave or texture press? What's texture press? Straight? The one that we would normally do. With like the loose curl kind of thing. Beachy wave is less heat? No, beachy wave is actually more heat because okay. I have to use a lot of product to. Mm keep it like in that um that form so let's see what do you think i mean which which week is more important for, this week okay so pictures which, and which style do you prefer i prefer the beachy ways so we'll do that one okay. this week and then we'll just do regular next week yeah okay yeah all right so we're gonna do a cocktail for her hair and scalp so i'm gonna use the soothe and balance shampoo and then I'm also going to use the Moist Repair Shampoo because she's saying that her hair and scalp is really dry. So you don't want to go and just use a minty shampoo on your hair. That's going to dry you out even more. So how you counteract that is you're going to put two times the amount of Moist Repair to, or two parts Moist Repair to one part Soothe and Balance. Mix them together in your hands before you put them on the hair. Now I did skip the clarifying treatment mainly because I did the soothe and balance. So that will suffice as the clarifier for today. And then because both of these shampoos are really thick, sometimes you can add just a little bit more water to the hair to help with your lather. A lot of times when you guys are doing your shampoos, you think that when your hair is not lathering instantly, you gotta add more shampoo. Uh -oh. Okay. You have to add more shampoo when technically that's not the case. Number one, either the hair is not clean and you should have clarified first and you didn't. Or number two, the shampoo can be really, really thick and it hasn't really moved about through the hair and the scalp. So you have to give it a little bit of help by using some water. So I'm gonna go ahead and also use the scalp agitator for her since she's super itchy. This takes away the itch, you guys, and it gets the blood flowing. 
Do you use the clarifying before every time you wash hair? Um, you can. Okay. So, like in your case today, I didn't because right. I used the Soothe and Balance, which also can clarify. Okay. But if I don't use that, then I will clarify. Now, if your hair is super dry already, or That's you might have washed it very recently, like within right. this week, then I won't use it because it'll dry it out. It'll make it too dry. Still itchy? Mm mm. It's good. The product feels like I have air conditioner on my head. <laughs> <laughs> it usually feels cool after the pack, so yeah. And then I am using warm water to rinse her, you guys. So I'm going to use the biotin conditioner, which is biotin voluminous conditioner on her. But I think I'm gonna cocktail that too with the moisture repair. But actually, let's see how it does without the moisture repair first. If I notice that it's still not giving her hair enough slip, which I kind of think that that won't be the case, then I'll add the moisture repair. My son last night. But washing his hair, washing his hair, conditioning. Then I twist it. Girl, it's 11:50 by the time. And I what time did you start? I started washing at seven. Oh my gosh, there is no reason. He has so much hair. Girl, no. I'm like, oh my god. And because we have these pictures and stuff this weekend, we had to do it yesterday because that would be the only day. So it needed to be done. So we were both half asleep. Finishing it last yeah. The twisting is what usually takes, takes a long time. Ever. Yeah. My gosh. Just the density of his hair. Like, I twisted his friend's hair. Mm -hmm. I finished his hair in like an hour. He's like, how is that possible? I said, he has a quarter of the hair you have. Or, or <laughs> maybe a, a way less. I don't know. I said, to blow dry, it took two minutes. So it was like, phew. Girl. Uh, you know, I do the twist when the hair is wet. Really? Mm -hmm. It's more oh. pliable and it, it lays better. So I do it when it's wet and then I add hair grease to it uh -huh. to weigh it down. And then I use edge control on the root uh -huh. and then twist it and let it, and I'll mold it that way and put a stocking cap on and it lays and dries just like really? that. It'll do better instead hmm. of blow drying it. You can do it that way too. I'll try it. It works. Because the blow drying part takes a good half hour. I do Christian's hair like that. Really? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, so we're going to use the Biotin Voluminous Conditioner. Remember, when you're putting conditioner on, you guys, you do not put it on the scalp first. It needs to actually go on the hair. That is where the benefit is. The scalp does not need the conditioner. The conditioner will automatically make its way to the scalp as long as you put conditioner on the hair. They say, sis, don't play about her hair. LOL, she gets it done every week. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. No, she man. doesn't. It it's seems like, like it right now. Yeah, it does. But <laughs> she doesn't. I see Nicole like every two to three weeks. And in the summer, she'll go to summer with her braids. Sometimes even during the holiday. It just depends. Yeah. But we don't do this every week. Mm -mm. I promise. Mm -mm. I'd be bald. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're not bald. It's just you won't, you end up losing more curls. Yeah. yeah. That's definitely not a problem. Your, your hair's definitely growing. Yeah. All right, so our conditioner is on the hair. She is, um, I'm going to say slightly tender-headed just for the sake of the video. <laughs> Tilt up a little bit for me. Let's see. I think we'll be able to detangle her without having to add anything else to her hair. It's detangling fine, but she's she's tender-headed, you guys. I'm not killing her, I promise. I'm not making any faces. Tilt up for me. Y'all didn't hear her say, because <laughs> you, you can hear us, right? <laughs> They definitely heard you say. <laughs> <laughs> I, I thought I didn't. I'm sorry. No, girl, you did that. Before. The moment the coat touched your head. <laughs> I hate it. Oh, God. 
It's not bad. Mm -mm. And plus, it was already straight yeah. when we started, so that helps. Yeah, when you come with it not so straight, yeah, it's typically when it happens because you slept on it yeah. and all that. Yeah, she's doing good. I didn't even wrap it last night. Normally, even before I come, I'll wrap it. But I just said, I got my satin pillow. I was so tired. I was like, just put on my satin pillow case and call it a night. <laughs> Listen, I just, I like to, when I know I'm going to get my hair done, I sleep free. Yeah. I sleep very free. I, uh... Oh, yeah. So we definitely did not have to use the, the moist, uh, moist me 24 karat mask to soften her hair. It actually did very well softening her hair. And then the way volumizing shampoos and conditioners work is they swell. So that's also another reason why the detangling could be a little bit easier as well because it helps to swell the cuticle and it just kind of opens it up. All right, we're gonna use a little cool water to rinse her off. I know. Cool water and cold outside? <laughs> yeah. Two different things. So she says her scalp feels a lot better, you guys. Is it still tingly or that kind of went away? No, it just feels like super cool, but good. So remember, you guys, I told you all of our products are intermixable. So that is how I was able to cocktail. And then here is the shedding or any hair that, that came right here. So we have, let me take it off the comb. Oh, that's, that's very good. Very, very good. All right, so let's just make sure that we rinse her really well. What's the next step after this? What am I going to do as soon as I rinse her? Let's see who gets it. All of you should be pros by now. Thank you, leave-in conditioner. But what am I gonna do? Thank you, NA. I was saying, what was I going to do before my leave-in conditioner? So you guys are right. Whoever said towel dry, you're right. And if you said leave-in conditioner, you're also right. But before the leave-in conditioner, I wanna towel dry her hair. Why do I towel dry her hair first? Why do I towel dry her hair first? It up for me. <clears throat> Let me turn this on so it can start one. He's so sporty and cute. Ah, thank you. <laughs> I get a chance to actually wear my little outfit to get some of the water out to remove excess water. Ramona, so the product can absorb, um, pack absorbs excess water. Take excess water out of the hair so the conditioner can stay on the hair. Absolutely. That is why I'm towel drying her so that the leave-in conditioner does not just drip off of her hair. I'm going to use a little bit of the Moist Repair Leave-In. Before you guys use your leave-ins and your shampoos and your conditioners, you should actually shake them up, you guys. That's it. So you guys saw how I missed it. Missed it, missed it on her hair. That is how leave-in conditioner should be applied and then you rub it through. Some of you are super heavy handed for no reason at all and you use a ton of leave-in conditioner thinking that that's gonna help you when really the hair is only gonna absorb but so much. So this part right here um, from the last time I noticed that it liked to kind of tangle, so I'm, I'm going to rope twist this little area right back here so that it doesn't tangle when it's time for blow dry. So even though her hair is a lot straighter because she gets her presses a lot more often, you still have texture, you guys. You are still natural. So under that dryer, it's gonna do exactly what it wants to do, which is <laughs> especially at the root. And because I know that she has, um, 
that tender headed syndrome. <laughs> I'm going to rope twist this part right here just so I don't have to have that um, issue with it tangling right in here. But you can rope twist the whole head if you choose to. I'm just rope twisting the two areas that I know I have typically the most pulling when I'm blow drying, which is the nape and right there at the crown or above the occipital bone. But the front and the side, I'm not gonna mess with. That area is fine. And I want her to, to kind of air dry a little quicker than normal. So I'm not in the salon all day today. I'm actually out of here early today. You are? On a Thursday? Well, I was supposed to go to the dentist today, well, and I went yesterday instead. Oh, okay. But it worked out because one of the heaters at home did not turn on all night, mm -hmm. uh, which is the kid's side. Mm -hmm. And I had to call the AC people. So yeah. they said that they'll come today between 2 and 4, and I get out of here at like 1 o'clock. Okay, so perfect. It works out. All right, so she's going to go under the dryer. So you guys give me just a moment. I'm going to go see it. So while she's under the dryer, I'm going to go ahead and rinse my hair. So remember, I did also put the Biotin Voluminous Shampoo on my hair. I can always deal with any form of volume. I want volume, okay? So I'll show you guys the comb. Once I comb it out. So there's my comb. I have one, two three strands and a couple little strands. So that's what came out. So that's not bad, especially because I left the conditioner on a little bit longer. And then I'm just gonna rinse my hair out really quick. Ooh, that water is cold. So I'm gonna use the Nandy leave-in spray from the Empress Collection. This is a strengthening leave-in spray. I love the way that smells. Yeah. Does the biotin tend to make the hair a little hard? Nope, the reason why in our formula that it won't make the hair hard is because we decided to use a lot more butters to kind of offset the fact that we know biotin can sometimes make the hair hard because it is like a, a strengthener, it's like a binder. So we added more butters and emollients to this formula than any of our other formulas to kind of count to counteract the fact that the hair could possibly get harder than normal. So it actually leaves the hair feeling super soft, very moisturized which is another reason why I said that it can be used on both natural and relaxed hair. You guys can tell that I'm definitely relaxed, but those of us with fine textured hair, this is your baby right here. This is the one that you definitely want to use because fine textured hair, our biggest problem is that it lays super flat. It lays super flat, like super duper flat. All right, so I'm gonna go over to my chair. I'm gonna bring you guys with me. Did you, did you call, you called this morning and said you was running late? Did I call you on accident? No, somebody said that, um, customer service said. That's what I saw when I did. That 
pulled up at 9.03, so I was like, that's not really late, so I was kind of like... Oh. I don't know what address she gave her, but that's definitely not the address. At least one. Oh. Mm -hmm. We're in the same plaza, just right across the way next to T Mobile. Mm -hmm. We're right above it. No problem. Okay. Can you recommend a moisturizing non-protein at all shampoo and conditioner? Um, our moist repair is non-protein. The moist repair is. And is there a reason why it needs to be non-protein? That's the, that's the next question. So our moist repair is a non-protein. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and put some wrap foam on my hair. Ooh, that shampoo definitely made my hair just go. And you have a relaxing. Yeah, but it's a volumizer, so it's, oh. it's supposed to like make the hair go like out oh. and expand slightly. So the shampoo was a volumizer? Both shampoo oh. and conditioner. And yes, I have a relaxer. <laughs> for me, it's a good thing, but then for my sides and my back, it's not my favorite right. because I want my hair to like lay, lay. I, I like want my it to lay hair. Lay down in the back, yeah. but be volumized in the front. Yeah, I want it to be volumized right here, <laughs> not really here. But you know, you don't really have that luxury. I'm gonna say, can you just volumize shampoo the no. top? <laughs> no. So it's like I, I guess it's a it's a yin and a yang for people like me where you want the volume in a specific place. Yeah. But I deal with. I guess I can just deal with it, y'all. I, I don't know how I feel about it's it. It's laying down. <sighs> but I know I'm gonna have to make sure I like thoroughly wrap my like wrap it with wrap strips. Cause it's wavy back there. It's but gonna it's expose, down, yeah. But it's wavy. So you can tell, like, <laughs> you can see it like swelling on my head. I am not a fan of that. I'm probably gonna have to learn how to wash the top of my head only. <laughs> I don't know how to do it. Wait, wait uh, wrap it with some. Uh, plastic around girl i'm gonna have to do i think i'm just gonna wrap it really well with the wrap strips today yeah so that it will like really lay and not have any place to expand so listen you want what you can't have and then you have what you don't want right so i want volume but i want it in a specific spot yeah. so for me is it gonna be the go-to for crystal sometimes not all the time Cause I know how I like my hair, and I don't. I don't like my sides and my back to have any form of volume. I want them to be dead. Like, yes, I'm molding my hair. I am molding my hair right now. The back middle is still. Girl, don't. I don't do it's that. bad. It's bad. Isn't that not just in the crown of your head? Right yeah, there. Yeah. There you go. Ah. Never fails, but it works. That tells you that it works because it definitely expanded this big head of mine. So I'm just gonna mold it really well or wrap it really well with my wrap strips. Mainly because it's the sides in the back, you guys. I don't want my sides in back to expand like that. Now my crown, it can expand all it wants. It could probably grow five more inches if it could <laughs> right away. I'm okay with that. You guys know I love my, my top to be nice and big and bubbly. Yeah. 
you're on your same cycle of um, doing your hair as me now. Mm-hmm. I do it every week. You do it? Mm-hmm. I'll try to like go without for a while. Like uh-huh. if I know, um, like next week I know I'm getting a haircut and a relaxer on Friday before the trip. So that's why I'm not going to even mess with it and do anything to it now because I don't want to run the risk of it not laying like super nice. Yeah. Especially because I'm going to a different climate. I don't want to deal with that. Because you're going to like... Curacao. Yeah. Somewhere with nice. humidity. <laughs> nice and humid. Yeah. I don't know if this will stay, but... I don't want to stay out there. So here's a trick, you guys. If you don't have any wrap strips at home, you can take a paper towel and tie it around the sides. Then you take a stocking cap and you put it over the top. And it keeps whatever you have there in place. Now, being at work is not super cute, but (laughs) if you're at home, this works, okay? Don't go out and about like this, but this is a, a trick that you can do if you don't have wrap strips or if you wrap your hair at night and you want to go to bed you can put two stocking caps on and your wrap stays in place Mm -hmm. pro tip slash hood tip it's a hood tip it's pro tip it's all that so yep hood tips work okay you see you see how i go hood tips work people Hood, hood tips work oh this is one of my Bath and Body Works candles. I repurposed them after they melted down, and then I made more candles. So you just poured it in? I'm, I bought more wax, uh-huh. melted down the residual wax, added more fragrance. It's 32 grams of fragrance okay. per jar. Uh-huh. And then I had so much, I redid the seven jars. I got tea lights and other candles from it. Oh, so okay. this is one of them. They were on live when I did it at home. So I just got seven new candles for $60. I'm one of those little DIY Martha Stewart people. I'm one of those Martha Stewart kind of people. So when you melt it down, you, how do you melt the So you do a double boiler. So you put the Bath and Body Works candles in a large pot with okay. just a little bit of water. Okay. And then the water boils and melts the wax that's mm-hmm. inside the jar. And then you get another double boiler and you buy wax. So soy wax. Okay. So for each Bath and Body Works candle, they're 411 grams mm-hmm. of a whole candle. So you do 373 grams of soy wax per candle mm-hmm. and then 33 grams of fragrance per candle. Mm-hmm. That is not including the Bath and Body Works wax though. Right. So you end up with a little bit more. That's how I was able to get more candles. Mm-hmm. And then you melt those down. You can pour your Bath and Body Works candles once they're melted into the wax, mm-hmm. mix them together, and then you get new wicks and put the new wicks inside the Bath and Body Works jars and then pour the the wax back in with the fragrance and now you've made another candle. If you like DIY stuff, you'll like it. You should go get it. Love those hood tips. (laughs) Do that. Do that for my thick hair. It works, ladies. (laughs) She said more hood tips. Y'all are so funny. More hood, you love hood tips, huh? Me too. Hood tips work, honey. Hood tips work. So I know I look a little a little outrageous right now, but my hair still looks good though. It's gonna look good. <laughs> really? <laughs> outrageous? I look like Tina Turner. <laughs> listen, this oh yes, on her cover of What's Love Got to Do? What's Love Got to Do with It, honey? Oh god. Hi Krista, you're the best. Love your videos. My people in the UK watching you. Got my people in the UK watching. Yay! Thank you. If you are in the UK, by the way, and you want to get any Elite Hair Care products, we actually have a UK distributor with an Elite Hair Care site. So if you go to EliteHairCareUK.com or if you go to our main website, which is EliteHairCareUSA.com and click the link that says Authorized Distributors, we have our distributor in Canada, which is Elite Hair Care Canada. We also have our distributor in the UK who services all of Europe. Come on, mom. Who services all of Europe um, and also um, Africa and some of the other countries as well. And you guys are able to get elite hair care products a lot faster. So definitely go and check out their sites for those of you that are out there. How are you, love? Fine, how are you? Good. What are we doing today? Um, 
cut and texturizer. Okay, let me see your hand. So, are you curlier than this, or this is typically the the way your hair is normally? I usually do press and curl because it's been natural for like the last um, fifteen years. Okay, and then. Well, no, my question is, is this your curl pattern, how it is right now? Yeah. Okay, so if I texturize you, you're, st you're still going to be straight. Okay. So you're, it's technically not a texturizer. You basically add relaxer because you use the same. It's the same product. Texturizer is if you were super curly, uh -huh. and then it will bring you to this. Okay. Where if you're already here, uh -huh. then you're going to end up straight. Okay. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. And then when you say cut, do you have an idea of the kind of cut you want? Yes, I'm going to show you some pictures. Okay? Yeah. Can I get a mask? Oh, yeah. I have one in my cart. to go, go and get it? No, I can do one. Okay. Yeah. Um, but what were you saying? You said you had what? Pictures. Okay. Go ahead and get your pictures right here. And then if you want to actually sit in my chair here. your face. Kind of tilt your head back a little bit. Okay. Oh, relax your face. Can you read? Mm -hmm. Alright, get your picture ready for me and I'll get a towel and stuff for you. Okay. bad haircut back in December. Um, this is what I thought well, I was hoping it would look like. Can I borrow your phone? Mm-hmm. So you want it like a wave. Your hair probably, it's not going to curl this way though. Okay. So I can tell that that's her natural curl pattern. That's number one. Oh, okay. Um, Mine's definitely not like that. Though. No, so if you, if you were already super curly and I texturized you, at a certain extent, you would kind of end up here because it kind of separates and loosens the hair, right? Yeah. But because you're already wavy straight, uh -huh. you're going to end up straight. So this would be more like a manipulation kind of style. Uh -huh. um, the waves, and I can tell you now, waves don't last. Waves are just style. Okay. So we can do your waves if you want to have that style, but going forward, you probably are going to end up where your hair is looking like mine's on the side. You end up... It's just a style. That's really all it is. Unless you're naturally curly and you can pull that wave off, which is which a I'm naturally not. curl. Yeah. So. Is it, so were there any other pictures that, let me see yeah. that. Yeah. So if it has to be straight, I'm trying to look for something like this. Okay. You know, nothing too curl, because I, I work out a lot and I okay. don't want to be bothered with having a press and curl. And when I notice when I do press and curl mm -hmm. lately, I get hot flashes sometimes. Okay. You know? Okay. So you want a pixie. You want it nice and short enough that you can still do anything that you need to do to it in regards to curl, or do you want it super short? Um, well, we could, well, you can start yeah, at a start. certain length, yeah, and yeah, then yeah. if it's still too long, then you have the ability to make it shorter, okay. rather than we going super short and then you can't let's do, do anything. That, yeah. okay. okay. All right, so go ahead and remove your glasses for me. Are you from here or where are you from? Um, or do California. You live here? Where do you live here now? No, I can't. No, no, no. Oh, just, you just can't get your hair done? Yeah. All right. <laughs> All right, Teeks. Yeah. Where? I'm from California. Where are you from? Really? Um, Gardena. Gardena? Yeah. I'm from Los Angeles. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, okay. I just got back. I'm visiting my mom. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I have some relatives out of here, too, but they're in St. Petersburg. Mm -hmm. You saw Crystal online, that's how you, oh yeah. wow. <laughs> Was it on YouTube? Yeah. Well, you get to see yourself again. So oh, say no. hey, y'all. No, I'm 
No, I don't want to talk. Can you do a voiceover and stuff? I'm actually, I'm, I've been live before you even got in here. I know. You want to cover your face? Yeah. You can. Okay. <laughs> All right, so just hold on to that. Okay. Okay, whenever it's time, you don't have to do it right away. Okay. Whenever it's time, you'll put it, we'll show you how you do it. You kind of just go like that. Oh, okay. Okay, or you can go like that. It doesn't have to, like, touch your face. Okay. Okay, so just uh -huh. hold on to it. Can I sit, sit these things over there? Oh, yeah. All right, so we are going to do a cut and style on my client here who traveled to get a new look. So, back just a little bit for me. So, we're gonna do um, it's not a micro pixie, it's still a pixie, but not a micro pixie. Okay, and then we're also going to do a I, I guess you guys want to use the term text lax relax whichever they're kind of all in the same family um but that's also something that i talk about as well texturizers can only texturize if the hair is at a certain curl pattern and then it relaxes the hair meaning it relaxes the curl pattern slightly but if your curl pattern is already loose then technically you can't texturize because at that point it's going to make the hair straight. So what we're doing right now is just a preliminary haircut. Just to kind of get. Go ahead and put your arm. You can put one hand and then put your hand. There's a hole right there. Oh. It's one on each side. Oh, okay. All right, so that's enough cut down right now. After her relaxer slash text lax texturizer, whichever we want to call it, is completed, then we'll clean up and do whatever detailing we need to do. The reason why you want to do the preliminary cut ahead of time is mainly because if you don't, then you have to kind of work between the fact that you have unprocessed or underprocessed hair along with hair that's processed and you're going to be cutting it off anyway so it's better to see where you're going now than to wait until after you've done all of this relaxing and use all of this product for hair that you're going to be cutting off and this is also what we call a connected cut so it won't be like mine's where my haircut is kind of disconnected where the top is long and then the sides and back are short Hers will kind of be a little more uniform, but she'll still have a little bit of length towards the front. And then that will give her the ability to make it a little bit shorter if she chooses to, or she can keep it that length and as it grows out, she cut it back down. So you have a lot of options when it comes to that. All right, so I'm actually gonna be using a very mild relaxer on her hair because she doesn't have a lot of density that we need to break down so the mild will work just fine all right mama chin down for me so if you guys notice i'm literally just laying it over her hair and moving really quickly because her density is low, and then she's fine textured. So fine textured hair just lays with no problem. It just go. So you don't want to run the risk of exposing too much, too fast. And then, of course, we always want that appearance of some form of volume in the right areas. So the sides and the back are usually where we want it to lay down really, really well. And then, of course, the top. How many days a week do you work out? About three days a week. Okay. 
and it's become kind of complicated with the workout in your hair? Yeah, because I, you know, because I'm used to press and curling it, and mm -hmm. I'm, I'm done with doing that, so I just want something more than, I know it can't be wash and go, but something that's easier when I'm, where I don't have to press my head all the time. Got you, got you, got you. Feeling okay? Mm -hmm. Chin down. Because you, when you're doing like short hair, it's better to relax the hair in the direction that you know you're gonna have it. Okay. It's not that it's gonna really change a whole lot, but it makes it easier. It's kind of yeah, it's kind of like you're directional, like you're yeah. telling the hair where to lay. Slide on down. There you go. The UK, Europe, the Far East, Africa. Get your yep, definitely. So we have UK, we have Canada, and we have Jamaica. We have all three. Okay, so I'm gonna rinse her hair now, and then I'm also going to use some toning shampoo, which is the purple shampoo, um, because relaxer can have the ability to turn the hair, oh, water just got cool. It has the ability to turn the hair yellow if you're dealing with salt and pepper. Not everybody has that, but typically with any form of chemical service, you have the chance of the hair kind of changing color.
And it's not anything that you can really do about that, you guys. The hair can change color even with just shampoo. The sensitive scalp relaxers work faster than regular. Yes. In a sense, yes. And it depends on the texture of hair that you're dealing with as well. Fine textured hair, of course, is going to relax a lot faster than medium and coarse textured hair. So it really, like I said, it depends on the texture of hair that you're starting with. Now, before I do the toning shampoo, I am going to normalize her first and also condition her, of course. So we're going to put her conditioner on. The conditioner will stay on for literally a minute or two, not very long. I've ordered from the UK site many times. Thank you, Crystal, for caring. Yay! And our distributors are super quick with shipping, so you guys don't have to worry about that excess shipping time. And I think with the UK, packages get to you within two to three days. Canada, almost the same. Can you put that up for one second? I want to show them something. Just like that. Mm -hmm. So I want to show you guys something. Even though we did do a relaxer service, her hairline still has a lot of um, texture to it. And when I say texture, not in a bad way, meaning she still has a little bit of volume. She has that, that curl pattern. So it doesn't necessarily mean that the hair has to go bone straight every time you do a relaxer. It can also keep you... Um, in a place where it just kind of smooths that area or relaxes that area, but not where it's bone straight. So that's a good thing in her case. All right, my love, you can put that. All right, so we're going to go ahead and rinse her conditioner. And then we're going to normalize her. And then I'm going to add some toning shampoo to her hair to get it nice and pearly rather than that yellowy gray. I don't think anybody wants that color. No. So before we do the toning shampoo, you do want to make sure that you normalize, restore the hair pH, the hair's pH first, and then start doing your toning shampoo. And then you can also use that at home as well. The violet colored shampoo? Yeah. You have that? Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Because it'll help to keep your hair nice and pearly. Mm -hmm. And then when you work out, it, turning yellow is kind of normal because you're detoxing every time you do it. So oh, okay. naturally you're going to... Salt changes colors too. Do you have the conditioner as well? The purple one? Uh, yeah. Okay, good. Because you have the conditioner so, too. Even though you're going to do your normal conditioning treatment, whether it be with Elite product or not, uh -huh. you can add that purple toning shampoo to that conditioner. Because you still, the conditioner, when you do the toning shampoo, it sometimes makes the hair rough because you have to leave it on for a little bit. Oh, okay. Do you leave it on or you just rinse it right off? Okay. What masking? Do you leave it on or do you rinse what, it right off? What, the conditioner? No, the toning shampoo. Oh, the toning shampoo. Yeah, I rinse it right out. I don't leave it on. So you should technically you're supposed to leave it on for about two to five minutes. Oh, I didn't know that. That's how it gets the yellow out. Oh, okay. So that when you're just putting it on and rinsing it off, it's just it's just a regular shampoo. It's not doing anything. Oh, okay. So leave it on, okay. but depending on how pigmented it is, like that purple shampoo, if it's super purple, uh -huh. then you'll you'll kind of watch it between minute two and minute five, but you don't have to leave it on for five minutes. So what about the conditioner? How long should that stay on? The conditioner, you can use it with your other conditioners. Like, let's say you're doing a deep conditioning treatment that day. Uh -huh. You'll just mix it with your other conditioners. The purple conditioner is really just to soften the hair. Oh, okay. it, it's not, it's, yes, it's giving it tone, but not like the shampoo. Okay. It doesn't have enough pigment to do it. Because you'll notice that the, shamp the conditioner is more creamy, like a more lavender soft color. And the shampoo is very purple. 
So the shampoo is more important then? Right. Okay. The conditioner is more so that it can rehydrate the hair after that shampoo. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. And not change its color because it's purple. All right. So we're going to add a little bit of... Go ahead and put your... Um, you can just relax your hand and just put it up. Oh, come on. Okay. And just kind of rest your hand so you don't okay. have to struggle. We're going to put some toning shampoo on her hair. Okay. I'm not going to lather it very much. Reason being is I want it to be nice and purple. So you guys notice I didn't really, sorry, love. Mm -hmm. I didn't really rub it up a lot in my hand because I want that purple pigment to like really sit on her hair. Now, the longer you leave this on the hair, the more purple the hair gets. So that's another reason why you have to really watch it to make sure that you're not turning <laughs> very purple. Like you'll see the older women where their hair is like super purple. And that's mainly because they left that shampoo on their hair. Do you guys see how that purple pigment is starting to develop? The longer you leave it on the hair, the more purple you'll start to see. But of course, the longer you leave it on the hair, the more drying it is to the hair. And so the reason why I'm combing through it is because I just want to make sure that every single strand gets some shampoo on it. Tilt this up. You can put it down now so you can relax your mind. And then, of course, for those of you that are always asking, where can you get the violet colored shampoo? We don't carry one currently. We're still in formulation. But I use Pravana Perfect Blonde. There is a link in the description box of this video, which is the first link you'll see. That link brings you to um, my other links of like Amazon store, that kind of thing. The toning shampoo is in my Amazon storefront. So all you have to do is click that first link and then you'll see it says Amazon storefront. And I have both the shampoo and the conditioner in there. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and rinse her. Now, you can definitely leave it on longer. But remember, her hair was relaxed, so it's, of course, very porous at this point. And then sometimes you have to do that shampoo more than once, you guys. So don't think that it's just a, a one-time, all-hail fix. No, sometimes you do have to do it more than one time. I'm gonna spray a little bit of Nandy leave-in spray on her hair, very small amount. Go ahead and sit in my chair, dear. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and do the finish of her cut, and then we will mold her and she will go under the dryer.
You want live long side burns or not so long? No. Okay. Short, short. You want it to kind of come down in your face? Yeah. Turn that dry on, please. Hi. No, just the top part. Yeah. How many minutes? Uh, Thirty. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and mold her. So we're gonna use our Elite Silk Wrap Foam for her mold.
All right, so for her sides right here, you guys, just like that. We're going to take our wrap strip. So I just missed it some miss I would say missed it but I just missed some water on her hair so she's gonna go under the dryer and dry I say no more than 30 minutes that's actually maximum amount And then this water mister is also in my Amazon store for those of you where it streams the water and you press it once and water comes out. Right, so we're gonna finish up Nicole and then she's out of here. All right, so it's 683 people watching, but I only see 295 thumbs up. So that means that about 400 of you have not thumbs up. So if you haven't thumbs up this live, close your chat and please go and hit that thumbs up button and then just come right back in. Closing the chat does not take you out of the live. Okay, so it will not take you out of the live. And then for Nicole's here today, I'm going to use the Elite Anniversary 1-inch iron. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and get that heated up. 
And then I'm using my Dyson blow dryer just to kind of blow her out. She is dry, but her ends, some of her ends are not dry. Hey, Dad. Hey, Dad. Yeah, he's <laughs> My dad is in there every day. He's one of my moderators. He can like take people out of the uh, chat. He can answer questions. So even though she's dry, I'm just kind of stretching her hair out so that I don't have to do a lot of pressing. And that also gives me the ability to kind of like style and, and curl her all at the same time. And her roots are super, super thick. Oh my God. Like super thick. And the ends are like, <sighs> hello, they're hanging on or something, I don't know. I guess you can say heat training, I guess. I don't know what we want to call it. I don't want to have to cut it again. I think I'm going to have to. If you want to stay super curly, but as your hair gets longer, you're not going to have much curl. <laughs> Unless you just stop pressing all its in entirety. Yeah. And I know you. I know. Mm -mm. No. You say you have pretty hair. Thank you. So I'm just adding some Frizz Tamer and Shine Serum to her hair. What does molding do to the hair? It allows it to lay down um, so that it can be curled and not be um, super swollen. All right. said I noticed she comes every week no it just so happened that Hello. since I've been doing the live and you guys have been watching me work it feels that way because she has certain events and stuff that she's doing so she's had to come and get her hair done a little more often than normal but this is not every week you guys I promise it is not did you book for November December no oh, okay is it in oh. it's been open oh you're kidding me girl go book your appointments please I'll put you where you need to go, but just look close to the dates. And I sent out an email. Maybe because I was traveling and doing stuff, I missed it. And I usually have it on my calendar. And I opened it two days early. Oh. Nobody knew that. Then. Just makes sense. Is that what? I think you were out of town for Um. I pray I'll be able to come to you for treating my natural hair. Whenever you come, just come, honey. So I do accept new clients, you guys. Like, it's not COVID anymore where I couldn't really accept new clients because I didn't have any space. But now I, I just kind of, I, I really do. It's just wherever. Don't cancel, just book the appointments closest to the dates that you want, and then I'll figure out whatever. Because I can just move those. Um, okay, no, November doesn't even come up anymore. Why no? This must be booked. It's in the first, it's the first. Um, I'm trying to think. Um, just book December 1st. Are you here Thanksgiving? I'm here the day before and the 26th, that Saturday. So I'm here the 23rd. But you're booked. Yes, I don't know. I'll put you in here. Just... So you're saying book the first? Yeah, yeah, book the first for whatever date you want in November. Because then it's easier for me to move them.
And then before you go, I'll move them. So I won't forget, because okay. you know I won't forget. So what I'm spraying on her hair is Sebastian Shaper. It's a very light hold hairspray. Um, the Sebastian Shaper is also in my Amazon store. And then there's also a link to our flat irons um, inside my link tree that you guys see, which is the first link that's in the description box. So you'll be able to get all of our H2 Pro flat irons. We'll be releasing another iron on Black Friday on special at that. So you guys will be able to get a new iron of a different size on Black Friday at discounted price. We have a lot happening that week. Just so everybody knows, there's a lot happening that week. Is that a clock on the wall is beautiful no it's not a clock it's actually a mirror it's just a mirror and i've had that mirror years i got that from kirkland's that mirror has followed me through all of my salon decor A hotel? East Altima? Um, do you see a... There should be a Total Wine and a Burlington's. Yes, it's at the corner of the main road. For the valve station. Valve. In a where? Oh, the in the valve, valve station. So instead, put your in your GPS, put Total Wine. It'll bring you straight into the plaza. Total Wine, like the, like I'm drinking wine. Oh, hold on, hold on one second, Mom. So I don't actually have you on my schedule. Did I reschedule you? Oh, okay, understand. Okay, okay, do you know where you're going now? I don't know where I'm going. Just, just type in total wine. Okay. Total yeah, it's right. It's literally across from us in the same plaza. So you'll see when you see Total Wine, you're gonna come towards T-Mobile. T-Mobile is across from Total Wine, but in the same plaza. Okay. Okay, dear. <laughs> no problem. Okay, so I have a question. If I want the week before Thanksgiving and the first. Should I pick another? You said book the first. You said the week before Thanksgiving? I mean, not the, the week, week of Thanksgiving. The, week of Thanksgiving. the 23rd, you said book the first, but I actually want the first. Okay, so, so book, book the first because you want the, the first. Second, just, and then book the second. Okay, that's And then, I'll, well, you can even book both on the first and we'll move it to okay. move one of them. 
So book the time both times okay. and then we'll just move it. Okay. What temperature? So the iron is at 450, you guys. It is at 450. Also, if you are doing what we call a textured press, right? So a textured press is you're not silking the hair first before you actually do your curls or your waves or whatever it is that you're doing. Then this is what we call a textured press because we're curling at what? Get my car. Oh, go ahead. You scare me. <laughs> we're curling and silking all in one step, but we're not making the hair like super silky. Okay, so we're still leaving a lot of volume in the hair, um, that kind of thing. So that is what we call a textured press, where you see her hair is still textured, but I am curling her and pressing her all at the same time. And you typically do a lot larger in section because you don't want the hair to be bone straight. You want it to have that volume or that density. Now, it also helped that the fact that we did use the Biotin Voluminous Shampoo and Conditioner. So her roots are like standing straight out. Like it really gave a lot of volume to her root area. So that's helping, especially for this kind of style that we're doing because she likes that volume look. It's supposed to look nice and messy and... It just kind of relaxes over time. Why don't you just save that thing when you go on it? Every time I have, it never comes back up. Hmm. That's yeah, crazy. I didn't even see it. I Are you? Do you log in? Do you log in to book your appointment? No, I just do it on Instagram. Oh, that's you have to create when you um if you like create a actual account when you're doing your thing. Uh huh. Then it will save it. It's not gonna save it if you don't have it. I'm like, and then that also will show I'm... you every appointment you have. Oh, I love that. Okay, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna show you how to, when you finish. I'll show you how to do it. Okay. Because then there, even when you book an appointment, if you forget, you just log back in and it shows you every appointment you've ever had. Oh, I love that. Okay. Okay. So, register for an account. And you would think I would have done this by now, Lord. So just mm -hmm. create a password. Mm-hmm. Okay. I thought you had already did that. Uh, maybe I did. It'll tell you if you did or not. Like yeah. It'll tell you if email's already in use. We'll see if it saves it or, or if it gives you the option now because it'll ask you if you want to save it. Okay. See, all of that starts to fill in now. Uh -huh. The same thing you've already, it's all already filled in. So okay. keep going. And then you'll see it's already checked. Okay. Hit that. Yeah. yeah. I'm not sure. I'm not Maybe sure if it's, it's going to you know. ask you. Yeah, because I'm not. I think it's after you have created the account, it asks you because it stores it to who you are and not just some random person's phone. Yeah, I. But I just registered and didn't ask. Yeah. Well, that was after you had already done the appointment. You uh, registered. So I don't know. For I'm testing the theory in my head. Okay. I think so. Put your 
Stop doing it then. Maybe they stopped doing it. They used to do it. So you didn't have to keep doing that. Hmm. That's right. Maybe it's a, a security thing. Mm hmm. I mean, because they used to allow you to save that. Yeah, I did December 30th because we're going to Honolulu for Sean's basketball tournament. Mm -hmm. Like 10 days, I'm going to just get braids, bro. Might as well, because um, I have braids for Christmas. Um, and then New Year's, I'll get it by the 30th. Yeah, that should be good. Yeah. You want to have we're a going to away. <laughs> I know. Good luck. Exactly. Good luck with your hair. Yeah, braids are necessary. Where can I buy products? I'm in Santa Monica. Um, Key or Kai, you'll go to our website, EliteHairCareUSA.com. So if you're in the U.S., our products are only sold through EliteHairCareUSA.com. We don't actually have a store location, um, but all of our U.S. products are sold through our website directly. just your color we just no we never well, we did. talked about we it. talked about it and you can do the one where it's just it's still your natural color mm -hmm. but it's just like a refresher to your hair yeah and then it will cover your gray and it's semi-permanent so it's not anything mm -hmm. to mess with your hair it just makes kind to of get it lighter you gotta strip it and stuff right you gotta lighten it yeah yeah it looks dry enough on its own Oh, if you ever get bored, though, we could. I, I want to, but... You can do um, it in the crown. Just right here. Just a little bit. Mm -hmm. Some you highlights. Two or three. Yeah. Just two or three rows. So do the semi-permanent. The same day. Same day. Yeah. Yep. So you do the highlights, and then um, you do the color actually right at the same time. Okay. Put it on. And then everything is kind of like refreshed. Mm -hmm. And then you can make the highlights as chunky or yeah. as, as thin as you want. Mm -hmm. And then when you put them here, like, you know, how we'll just do two or three. Yeah. I can make them slightly chunkier. Yeah. And it looks like you got your whole head done. Okay. And you didn't. You just literally got right there. I'll try it. Yeah, I'm open for something rooms. different. You can do it for, um, Let's when do you come New back. Year's Eve. Yeah. When yeah. you come back, we'll do it. We'll just do it together. Yeah. Did you book that one already? Or that's you what I love to do now. That's what I was asking. So then that day for Put that hair color? Yeah, you're going to go to the hair color section. So this? No. Um, I just, like yeah, that one. And then, actually, yeah, that one too. That's it. Okay. And then I think at that point we'll probably trim it the same so day. So put hair trim too? Yeah, we'll trim it all the same day. Okay. You'll be fresh for the new year. Yes, new look. 2023. I'm going to a wedding that day too. So. One of Michael's, his business partner's son. Oh, okay. Is that Bella Colleen? Is that? Oh, it's like a really pretty country club in Claremont. Oh, okay. It's like a real like Tuscan style. Oh, wow. It's really pretty. It looks like a winery almost. Claremont has a lot of that. Mm -hmm. They have a lot of land out there. Yeah. 
guess who's going to homecoming next week? Your daughter? Adrian. Uh, does she have a date? No. Okay, she's no. going to a group of girls or something? I think they're all just, it's not that many kids. They're all yeah, just going to yeah, meet yeah. there, but. Is it at school or? No, they use country clubs for theirs too. Like, I think this one that they're using is in Maitland. The other one that was the Orlando Country Club, the one down by... Um, oh, look, it just came up. Oh, well, there you go. Yeah. The one that was by um, OBT and Colonial, mm -hmm. that country club that's back there where those houses are, with the big lake. Oh, yeah. It's like a really nice house back there, mm -hmm. but you don't, really, you don't really know that they're back right. there. They use that country club for their eighth grade dance. Mm. It was very nice. Very pretty. Oh, cool. So Alex is her eighth grade dances this year. Did you do pick her dress? And yeah, we went to um, Amazon. I got a couple of dresses on Amazon that she mm -hmm. liked, and then when they came, she didn't like them. Yeah. So then we went to Macy's, and she found the dress that she really liked. Okay, good. And I actually got all of her accessories, her shoes, her purse, everything. I got all this stuff on Amazon. Really? Well, yep. they've got some good stuff now. They have the oh, whole... yeah. Like, their fashion stuff. Yeah. Listen, I can get any outfit on Amazon. Exactly. And make that thing work. I mean, they got designer stuff now. Mm-hmm. I bought my Tory Burke sandals on there. One time I needed a pair of black ones, and I needed them the next day. Mm -hmm. And I couldn't get to the Tory Burke store, and I got them right on Amazon, right at my front door. And how long did it take? A day. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. And the store here, it didn't have my size, because, mm -hmm. you know, black ones, everybody has Yeah. Black. I got that thing on Amazon right away. You know, um, my hair did not hold coral in California, but I think what happened, the first night it started raining. Oh, yeah. And over. so the first night it just messed. It didn't get a chance to sit. You know, it's, like, it's, it's over the first night. Oh, God. I was okay. so mad. Because he knows that you're highly pissed off. And what was their response? What did you say? That lost me. I don't even understand what that means. And that's the next thing I was going to say. Do you think that it was the stress at that moment from something else? And it's like just projecting. <laughs> really? Because you're buying from yourself? I'm gonna finish this client. I'm gonna, let me finish this client and then I'll tell you back. Alright, All right, so we're almost done and then we're gonna comb her down. You guys see that super shininess? It is so shiny. 
super, super. I wonder if she's like super lost or what. But did she have an appointment? Cause you said no. She was coming for another reason. Uh, Cause I'm looking for an assistant. And I'm like, she was super lost. So I'm like, okay, so Shampoos and stuff. Oh, you need that. Yes. You used to have that when ash. I first remember. Mm -hmm. yeah. I had two. Remember, yeah. I had um, the little one uh -huh. and then Ash. But Ash's job doesn't give her the days that she was here anymore because oh, she girl. was stationary in her schedule. Mm -hmm. So she's not stationary anymore. She she can't pick her schedule. Or Ash would have been right in here. Yeah. Like that's my that's my, my salon buddy right there. I know, and she did a good job. No, Ash is real good. I like I, when hey. I say I love Ash, she's a, just a good person. Yeah, period. like you she know. never had beef with her. Mm -mm. Or I don't have to tell her nothing twice. Exactly. Like she's very mature. Like that's yeah. that's my girl. The people love Ash. Yeah, she was sweet. And I think because she's she's also a manager in her at her job, so you're you deal with customers right all day, so it kind of comes naturally. You already deal with angry people all day. Mm -hmm. So you're in like a, a mature state of mind. Even though she, Ash is very young. Come on in, honey. Ash was very young mm -hmm. um, compared to my very youngness. Yeah. Hey. Hi. Hi. How are you? Good. Just, just sit right here for me. Okay. My other client, she should be on her way. So I'll, I'll let you work on her okay. to shampoo her and stuff. Okay. And then I'll just kind of direct you to see how you work. All right, you guys, so I'm gonna comb her down. I'm just using a regular rat tail wide tooth comb. You can use a brush if you want. The brush will probably um, lay the hair down a little more than I like. So that's the reason why I like to use the comb. And then once you comb her down, you use your fingers and you fluff it. And that's it. So it's supposed to be that messy, I went to the beach hair. It's not supposed to be uniform. It's just messy hair. That's all you want. Not too messy, but messy enough. Oh, wow. Yeah, let's do those. I'm going to do my hair. Listen, I was touching her hair. I'm like, wow, that's intense. Oh, God. That's where I missed the relaxer. Just right there and in the back. Thank you. Thank you. And then for the front, you can leave it nice and messy, which she probably, she just kind of runs her yeah. fingers through it and then we go on about our day. And then that's it. And then as time goes by, she normally will, it just gets it yeah. Softer and, softer. and she'll just wrap it yeah. and then it just starts to elongate. So yeah. it's a really easy style to maintain. Yeah, yeah. to maintain. All right, so I'm going to do her hairline really quick. I'm going to use the H2 Pro three tenths of an inch to do her hairline. So I'll zoom you guys all in her business so you can see. And then how I do the hairline, I usually just kind of part it out. Kind of if you were doing baby hair, you know you guys not hate baby hair, but if you're doing baby hair where you'll part it out like you're going to do baby hair and this just gives you a place to kind of grab that area and lift it up with your two fingers, put your iron under and stretch it out. 
And that is how you do the hairline. And then once I do the hairline, you want to just go ahead and mold it so that it lays exactly where you want it to lay. Other than, like, if you're going to do your hairline, the worst thing you can do is do your hairline and push it in a direction away from the style. And now you've just created another situation because you have to go back and almost like mold it again. So when you're doing it, go ahead and lay it down at the same time. You're saying when you're molding it, is that what you're saying? Well, molding it meaning with your hand, oh, okay. not with like products. Oh, okay. And then we'll just give her a little bit of Sebastian Shaper. She'll still be able to comb through and brush through her hair. So mm -hmm. that won't really change. And then she's all done. If you have hair, it's beautiful. Thank you. Thank you, Crystal. Look at my smile. Look at Oh, my gosh. Oh. He's just that smile. Look at his smile. Where is that? He had the, um, like, at Howard, they had their first practice, and everybody came. And, and it was, it was super party. excited. It was like a big party. Girl. That's good, though. Yeah, he had fun. My husband went. I didn't get to go. I went with Sean to Vegas. We split up. Let me fix your appointment first. Oh, you did. You remember the day? Nope. <laughs> I think it's the first that you put I, it I on. I put the first. There's a nine and a Which one, one do you want to keep on? You can keep the nine. The first of December. There yeah. We go. Okay, so you want to keep the nine. Yeah. And then this one we're going to move to the day before Thanksgiving. Yeah. Oh, yeah. November 23rd, I think it is. Next schedule. Yep, that's the 23rd. Let me make sure I'm not crazy. Wait, I'm making sure the date is right. It is the 23rd. Let me see. You have a lot of appointments. Okay. Um, you can still come at 9. Okay. Yeah. It lets you put it in even though. Yeah, I can do it on my side. Okay, so I'll put you on. And will it change it in my thing? Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. It's going to send you an email too. Okay, good. And then for, ooh, it just dinged right in my ear. And then for today, what is today? 17th? Isn't it the no. 21st or something? I'm far gone. What it's is the today? 20th. 20th. Oh, the 20th. I was in November. Sorry, <laughs> guys. I like it. It's it's really good. If it like when it, but last time it only took two times. And it picked it really up. It just kind of depends. Like I thought it was the camera. The mm -mm. It says hold it there. No, I meant the front of the car. I don't really think. I don't think it makes a huge difference. It's just kind of when it catches. You know what? I know when it catches. Yeah, like when it picks up the little. Just dirty. Mm -hmm. Okay. See, so hold here. Ah. I don't know. <laughs> I guess I gotta learn to be a little more gentle. I don't know. I like it. I like the fact that I don't have to have that reader everywhere I go. Mm -hmm. So it, it kind of works out. Okay. Yeah. Oh, you, oh, you, can you take that? Oh, 
Let me get that. Thank you. Oh, Thank you. Oh, God. Oh, thank you. <laughs> My bride. So, Miss Bride. Have you worked in a salon before? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Cool. So typically, this is kind of the the atmosphere. Like I don't have a room full of people. I'm like, I might have kind of talked that a long time ago. But it is like it's um. Everybody's in the their individual business in here, so. It, it could be a ton of hairstylists, it could be makeup artists, there was like IV rejuvenation people, all kinds of things in here. So, I mean, really and truly it can be almost anything in the beauty industry, nails, everything. So like for a typical day for me, right now it's anywhere between five and seven clients and that's just because I'm, I'm by myself. So I usually can handle five to seven people by myself. Um, and then I'm usually out of here three o'clock, 3.30, Four is probably if I have a very long term style at that point. Good. Um, yeah, I'm not I'm not here. Yeah. I'm, I'm three. Mm -hmm. I start at nine every day and then um even on like Saturdays I only do two Saturdays a month. Okay. So it's we already like you'll know the schedule ahead of time because my schedule starts the fifteenth of the month before. So we typically know most of the appointments before the month even starts. And then the Saturday, you'll know the month before what two Saturdays. So I'm like, for Jane, for December, I actually only have one Saturday in December rather than two because I, I have other, um, kind of the holidays kind of like messed it up. And then Could November two. Like if someone wants to get their hair or you just sit uh -huh. like that? No, 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 no. I make, I make very, very small exceptions. She's one of them, but uh, no, 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 no. Well, my schedule, my schedule is my schedule. That's that's where I'm at. All right, I'm gonna tilt down for me. All right, so we are going to edge her hairline and then start curling her. Um, do you want this part straight across, or you want it more wispy? Just to kind of straight across. Okay. Oh, over here. Mm -hmm. I'm watching the live in person. <laughs> 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 Me too. Yeah, right. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Okay, so for this area here, hmm, Lord, I'll call you back. I'll call you back. Okay, so what I did right here, because she is very fine in texture, is I do it kind of like a, a whirlpool or something. Um, this gives you the illusion of a lot of fullness in the area. Remember, whenever you're dealing with fine texture hair, everything that we do for, <laughs> for our hair is illusion. So it's giving the illusion of fullness, giving the illusion of um, height. Or trying not to make the head super flat because then it appears to be like you're missing hair when you're really not missing hair. You see more scalp. So that's the reason why I like to do the kind of like whirlpool effect in that area because it lifts it off the head. And it just gives that appearance of fullness. It doesn't have to be super um, defined. Like we're not into those styles anymore. Now it's just about movement and, and shape and texture and all that good stuff so these kind of styles are a lot easier to handle if you are one who's like me where once you kind of do your hair you're done or if you're one who is like her where she's working out and she wants something that is going to be very easy for her to rinse out and lay it down and go and actually look like she still has her hair done then this is definitely a good style to use
And then for her hair, definitely three tenths of an inch iron, pencil iron. You can use this iron to do your whole head, to be quite honest. And then people kind of get this area a little, um, they kind of don't have an understanding for this area. So usually the first thing you want to do is make it flat when really right here should not be flat because that what, that's what starts the graduation and starts to give you that appearance of volume. So that's the reason why you start from back here and work your way forward rather than starting here and working your way forward because you're giving yourself a flat head. So it looks like you have a scoop. And then if you also want um, the appearance of volume, you can also do flip and curl. So you can do a flip up, a curl forward, flip back and forth, and it'll give you that texture, but it won't make the hair look um, untailored, I guess you can say, or, or like undone, where sometimes you kind of get afraid that it's gonna give you too much height. So don't be afraid to like use that technique to give you that volume with fine textured hair. That's really the best way to do it, flipping and, and curling. So when I say flip curl, so you guys notice I went forward and then for this one, I went back. And then for the next one, I'll go forward again. And it's not gonna make her look like she has a mohawk or anything. It's just gonna give her the appearance of a lot of fullness. And then when you get directly in front of the face, that's when you want to start going forward. Did I give you the thing back? Mm. So just, yeah, up a little bit more. There you go. So I'm going to turn her towards the front so you guys can see what I mean. You're so good, Crystal. Thank you. <laughs> when you get to this part of the head, if you guys notice, when I molded her, I gave her that scoop. So it kind of looks like I've defined her hairline. You still want to go with that. You don't want to go against it. So even though she has this piece that's going that way, the focus of it is the base. So I'm still going to use that, that little scoop and still follow and go that direction. And then this little part right here, you don't really have to mess with that part. It's kind of like, they call it like accent. Yep, you good. No, perfect. And then for over here, this is where you connect your style. So even though it's a connected or disconnected cut, this little area right here at the parietal ridge. So there's a bone right here. This is called the parietal ridge. That is where you connect your sides to your crown and your top. Okay, so whenever you guys see me curling my hair, you'll usually notice that I start curling forward because I'm molding it in to like connect the dots to make it look more uniform. And then for here, I like to go diagonal. Whenever you bring weight towards the face, it gives the appearance of volume as well. So remember, anytime we do our hair, if you're trying to hide your weight, you usually want the hair where? Like this. You never see people push their hair away from their face when they're trying to give or hide anything that, or should I say hide weight or whatever the case may be. So it's the same thing with the hair. When you go forward and then kind of mold it down or keep it uniform right at the face, it still gives that appearance of volume at the same time. So for this area, you don't have to mess with it. If it's a little crispy or not smooth, you can take your iron and just kind of put a little heat to it. You can take it down. Now. You can put a little heat to it and then that will kind of finish it off. And then for these areas, all I'm doing is just using my comb, lifting it up and giving it a slight bump. I'm not even really giving her a super curl like that. It's just a bump. How long would something like this last? It kind of depends on the client. Um, waves don't last. You can put it back on that side. Waves that are like those wave styles, those really pretty wave styles, those do not last. That is literally a I'm going to someone's birthday party today right. kind of style. Like it's not just me when I had short pants. They did not last more than a day or two. No, <laughs> waves don't last at all. Like, I don't even like wave styles because I know they don't last. So if she wanted to do this, if she wrapped it, she would lose it. So does she have to put a little roller in it? Or For the top? Yeah, the top. No. 
Okay. You put your scarf around the side. The top is so high up. You as long as, yeah, yeah, you just leave it up. Okay. Some people like their hair more down. Mm -hmm. Like for me, because I know I sweat a lot at night, I like my hair on the top up. That's why you guys yeah. always see me with that. Because it lasts longer and I can make it really hard. Right. So that I can have a hairstyle for a week. Yeah. But when you have short hair, you have to kind of figure out the style that works for your hair. Mm -hmm. I'm in front of you, baby. You have to figure out the style that works um, based on, you know, your characteristics, what you do in your daily life. I have some clients where they like it really soft. I have some clients where they want it really hard. All right, so for this area right here, where you guys saw the hair kind of going in like a C-shape, I'm going to follow that C-shape. That is also my parietal ridge. You have one on each side, so that the little bone crest. I'm going to follow that. If I wanted her hair to go that direction, then this little C would have been on that side going that way. And then I'm doing the same thing on this side over here, just kind of connecting the dots and bringing it towards the face. And then when I get back here behind the ear, I go towards the occipital bone. Yes. You know, people buying that color. Yeah, people buy this color. Give me a 20 year old girl. No, she's def that is definitely hers. You can take it down, Mama. It's, it's definitely hers. <laughs> no, people are buying gray. That's a weird thing to me. But it's so pretty. And it's just so healthy and shiny. Mm -hmm. I don't know, my grandma always told me, like, if you dye your hair a lot throughout the years, like permanent dye, mm -hmm. it would be like a yellowish color when mm -hmm. it comes in. So I don't know if that's true or not. But no, it's true. So she turned yellow because we relaxed her, and then I had to tone the yellow out with purple. Okay. Because I can't even tell. I thought it was just all green and silver. No, that, that um, violet shampoo is what keeps the hair um nice and silvery mm -hmm. it cancels the yellow out yellow is a natural color that happens for gray hair yeah. all right so for this area here you guys if you guys notice i'm still using my comb to keep that volume right here you're not going to really see the volume in the front this is just for people who are looking in the back of your head you don't want it to be flat that is very weird it, it makes you look like you have like a banana kind of shape and it makes your head long it's coming from a person with a big head. I, I, know, I know these things. <laughs> it's, it's coming from experience. So when I used to curl my hair, I would leave this flat. And I never understood why my hair did not look right to me. And that's what I learned, that you use this area and you just kind of, you bring elevation to the eye. And it gives that appearance of fullness all the way through. Oh, beautiful. I'm glad I stayed to see you. Thank you. <laughs> Just moving your head, all that body. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's my my crystal. Oh, well, no, that's it without her. I don't have a relaxer. That's my relaxer. No, she's natural. I'm all natural. So it's just it was a blowout in front. Mhm. Yeah. Exactly, and it'll last like two weeks. Like no way. Yeah. Even with humidity and all that. Yeah, it, it well, just relaxes. Like, just like this one. No, <laughs> I think it's trained now. Like the, the uh -huh. Oh, that, they yeah. use too much heat. So that's why. All right, so what I'm doing like, is just taking a little bit of Sebastian yeah. Shaper for her flyaways. This is not going to make her hair hard, you guys. It's going to keep it in place temporarily for today. Um, honestly, Sebastian Shaper dissipates within hours, sometimes minutes. So... It's really just to tame your flyaways for that day. Hi, ladies. Bye, ladies. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Have a good shoot. Thank you. And then for her front here, where she has like the little accent pieces, and we wanted like the C shapes and all of that good stuff, I just sprayed a little bit there as well. And then we're going to clean up her sideburns, and she's all done. Be fine. I'm going to have 
time one more time if I can just show you this last one. Okay. So cute. Just like that. Okay. Okay. So I want to show you guys something. Whenever you have a client who wants that wavy look on their sideburns, we don't take our clippers and give you a hard line. How you clean up that area is you actually go with the wave. And you clean up the wave itself. Now, if you get a very deep wave and your client's hairline is way out here, this will, that, that won't apply. But for her, I'm just basically cleaning up the wave and using that as my, my guide for how I'm edging her. Alive. Yes. Now she can use um, mask it fibers on her hair. The problem with mask it fibers in the color gray is it's dark gray. So it, it it's a yin and a yang to it. You'll never have the perfect gray. Now if she was that darker color gray, then I would put the mask it fibers. But in her case, she has more of a she has more salt than pepper. So we're gonna just leave it as is. And the mask it fibers are only temporary, so they don't stay forever. Good thing is she's just fly, so we don't have to worry about it. Ready? I'm setting. You can take it down. I'm setting in. Let me make sure you. I'm setting in front of the camera. Yeah. Okay. No, you're fine. Wait. Oh, I really like it. Oh, yeah, the camera's in the back of my neck, so you're fine. Oh, it is. Okay. Yeah, you can put it down. Is that good? Yeah, but yeah, I just have to work with it when I work out. So when you work out, of course, it's not going to look like this. Yeah. When you work out, it'll look like how you look when you were under the dryer, flat. Okay. Yeah. So what you can do is get that small iron mm -hmm. that you see there. And when you're done, you're not going to be able to do it every day okay. because remember that's salt. So that if you work out Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, uh -huh. then you'll do your hair Wednesday to go through Sunday right. like that. Uh -huh. And then you can just take the little curler, you curl the top, use your fingers, move it around because it's connected. So it'll just kind of cascade into each other. And then for this part here, remember how that lady's hair, I said, that's her natural curl. Yeah. you still did that. Oh, it's not a hundred percent super wavy, but it naturally has that coil kind of look. So yeah. it won't be hard for you to kind of see it. So that's the reason why I just went with it because okay. that's what your hair naturally did oh, okay. in this area. Okay. And then up here, same thing. So really what you want to focus on is just kind of do little C curls with a little curling iron. It's, your hair is about that long, okay. not even. Okay. C curls, wide tooth comb, comb through it and go on about your day. Okay, and then of course find a, a stylist out there that when it's time to maintain it, they can they already already started the roadmap for you, so okay. they're just kind of maintaining what's already there. Okay. So usually about two to three weeks, you need to go see somebody. Okay. At that point, your hair will grow out, and you'll start noticing that you can't really do anything to it because either it's grown out too much, or your size in your back has grown out. Kind of like a guy who goes to a barber shop, they can't go without going to the barber shop after about three weeks. Because short hair grows really quickly and that natural hair starts to come back out. Oh, okay. So you will kind of relax the sides in the back a lot more um, than you will ever do the top. Oh. So you might relax your sides in your back every three to four weeks. The top you might do once every three months. Oh, okay. So stylists who understand shortcuts, they will understand that. So okay. try and find someone who the understands shortcuts. hair cutting, they will know what to do. Okay. You're the only one out there? Mm -mm. <laughs> and stay away from the lighter skin salons. They don't. They don't do that here. Oh, okay. it, has, it has to be right here. Mm -hmm. Okay, so no okay. super cuts, no hair cutteries, no, 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 none of those. Okay. okay? okay. All right, I'm turning this way. Thank you. She should stick with Miss Elite. Yes, that would be nice, you guys, but guess what? She's six hours away in flight time. Well, five. Let's say five hours away in flight time. Um, I don't think that that's possible. So she still has to find someone in her area, which I'm very realistic. You still have to be realistic. 
right? So is she going to conveniently be able to come here every three to four weeks unless unless she has some type of buddy passes that she can use every three to four weeks? I highly doubt it. But be real. Like, I have clients that fly to me from other countries, and I tell them the same thing. Oh, I don't trust anybody out there. Well, you're going to have to. You're going to have to find someone. Are you on Carter Cash Bomb? Read the question one more time. She said, the more I color my hair, the yellower my grays will come in, question mark. Uh, it's not the color that makes the hair yellow. I mean, yes, the color makes the hair yellow as it fades, but it's not the color. That's naturally the hair changes color whenever it's gray hair. Bridge relaxer cutting style. There we go. This is your remainder right here. Right here. So it's not hair color. Oh my! It's not hair color that changes the that turns the hair yellow. So you cannot have hair color. She doesn't have hair color, and her hair still turned yellow. It can happen from the sun. It can happen from a shampoo. It can happen from a blow dryer. It can happen from uh, a styling tool. It can happen from a hairspray. It just happens. When you're salt and pepper, your biggest problem is that your hair is yellow. And then, of course, if you smoke and you're salt and pepper, your hair will be yellow. If you um, have thyroid disease, that can also turn your hair yellow. Cause it turns the yellow. It turns the whites in your eyes yellow. It's kind of like jaundice. Um, it, it can happen with anything, you guys. I'm going to be quite honest. Like, I wouldn't focus so much on the hair turning that color. Just know what to do when it does turn that color. Know your basics to color correction. There's other questions. Thank you, my dear. Yeah, thank you so much. I have a lot of shedding. What can I do? Uh, if you have a lot of shedding, what can you do? Number one, find out the reason why you're shedding so much. Um, number two, definitely an Elite Repair RX protein treatment. All right, my dear. Are you traveling back today? Uh, tomorrow. Oh, well, you just got a lot of time. Can I get the curling iron, curling iron now or should I just order it? Oh. No, I don't have them in, oh. in, in, the, in salon, yeah. but you can order it on the website okay. and then we'll, we'll get it to you. Okay, thank okay? you. Okay, and then also get wrap foam. The wrap foam? Wrap foam. Oh, yeah. So you have to have the wrap foam. I have some of that. Yeah, um, but make sure it's not a lot of body. It cannot be a lot of body. I bought your brand. Okay, that's fine. That's it. Okay. Yeah, but a lot. If you ever run out and you have to get something right away, mm -hmm. no lot of body. That's not a wrap foam. It looks like a foam, but it's not a foam. Okay. It's it's really hard. It's not really made for molding. It's made for other reasons, like like using like rollers and stuff. Okay, I'll wrap it. It's so, kind of like a spritz. No lot of body. It it comes in a mold like a bottle. Like you'll see it. It's blue. Yeah. But it's it looks like a and it, it says foam on it, but it's not. It's almost like a mousse to me, and it okay. dries the hair up. So. Any other person, if you ever have to go to a store and grab one, just stay away from that one. Okay. Okay? Thank you. All right, my love. You. Travel safely, okay? Okay, okay babe. Fly. No, no, fly. Oh, okay. uh, I, I swear I know I have one more person today. Am I complaining? Hmm. Has anybody else had issues with a GPS? A lot. Coming here. Um... Yeah. This um oh, to get here. It's, nine 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 super chat said thank you so much. This is very much needed. Oh, thank you. So my eleven thirty apparently is uh obsolete. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well. So those are your only two heads so far. Today, well, I cut my day short today because I was supposed to go to the dentist and then I ended up not having to go because i went yesterday gotcha. so now i was only waiting on her damn it um but i'm here all day tomorrow so if you want to come in tomorrow you can mm -hmm. so i'm here from nine to i have a full day tomorrow actually so tomorrow will probably be best mm -hmm. so you can come mm -hmm. at mm -hmm. yeah <laughs> come at nine um you probably won't leave tomorrow until my last one's 1 30 probably like 3 3 15. 3 30. Okay. That's like the latest. Like 3 30 is probably the latest because my last one is at 1 30 tomorrow. Okay. 
So if you have something pre-planned and you want to just come in the morning, then you can just come in the morning because it's still, we have to do the trial anyway. Right. Um, but if you want to stay all day tomorrow, you can do that too. Okay. Yeah. Because um, I didn't think, I don't know why my client's not here, but whatever. <laughs> Works for me. My heat's not working, so I get to go home and make sure it gets fixed. Thank oh, you. Well, we figured that out last night that the heat is not working. The AC is working, was working fine. I don't, I don't know. Our house was 61 degrees. 61. It was 61 degrees in our house. Yeah, it was bad. It was really bad, actually. Yeah. Um, okay, you guys. So I'm going to let you guys go. Um, I will come on live, I guess, later on today. Come to Ohio. No, <laughs> absolutely not. Um, but I will see everybody on live later. Ooh, 34. I get upset in that kind of weather. I don't I don't like that kind of weather. I'm okay. How rather be cold and hot any day? I've always said that. Cause I'd rather be hot. I don't know. Mm -mm. If you're hot, you can get naked and you're still hot. Yeah, I'd rather it be hot. Really? Yeah. Anyhow, you guys, everybody have a blessed rest of your day. I'll probably go home and come on live. Probably cook something. I don't know. I'm like, not sure how I feel if I want to cook or not. But you guys have a good rest of your day for the 19th time. <laughs>